I have the world's largest medically verified penis. That, that Do is... Do it. <laughs> Do it with it. <laughs> You'll get demonetized. You'll get demonetized. I haven't got seven inches in me. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Mine is genuinely really? a mushroom like head. Good morning, good, good afternoon, afternoon, and, and good, good night. night. Hello, <laughs> and welcome back to the Low IQ Podcast. Podcast. And it's Cole Addison James. And Jack Joseph. And today, we have um, we have, we have a bit of a strange sort of one for you, <laughs> right? Okay, not, not, <laughs> he's not strange, wow. but there's something about him. There is something strange. about So we have a guest, right? Introduce yourself, please. Hello, my name is Matt Barr, and I have the world's largest medically verified penis. So can we figure out there? We don't know. Straight into it, isn't he? That's what you wanted. <laughs> into it. That is what you wanted. Right? That's that's riff for a while. I could talk about anything. I'll talk about my upbringing. Oh, sorry. Oh my god, that's horrifying. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. In my neck. So you've you've got the largest willy in the world. Is it in the been, whole world? Well, again, you don't know necessarily. So there's only a certain number of people who've been measured, like in a medical setting. Well, I would have thought it wouldn't be a white guy. I would have thought it was a black guy. Well, that's all stereotypes, mm. isn't it? Though? Well, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I always love that. <laughs> and again, there could be. I'm not. No one's saying there isn't some mysterious man out there. Yeah, you with know, a bigger will. Timbuktu with a bigger will. You can, you, it's silly when they say that. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's, it's a famously far away place. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, yeah. Do you know where it is? No, where where is where's Timbuk Timbuktu? Where, where's Wait, Timbuktu? Timbuktu's a real place. Yeah, Timbuktu's is in know. Mali. It's sort of you know in the area. Of in Bali. Mali? No, Mali is Mali, not Africa. Bali. No, oh. get excited. I have influence in Bali. No, it's Mali. Wait, Mali is Africa, isn't it? Mali is Africa. Yep. Really? I thought that was just a phrase. Why Tim? What if you live in Timbuktu? Well, then? you probably wouldn't say that phrase. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, but what if you, you live to... in like Nigeria that's close to Mali? Then you wouldn't be like, oh, you're Timbuktu. from Timbuktu because it wouldn't make sense. I'm not familiar with the uh, linguistic. Uh, <laughs> I thought you'd know, having the biggest cock in the world. Yeah. Nigerian? Yeah. yeah. Don't know. Okay, so you got the world's magic, medically large Magi penis. Ma Magi magically, magically yes. Yeah, yeah. You got the there world's was a magical witch penis. who decided to curse me with it. <laughs> Very uh, ordeal. So, how, uh, how huge is this monster penis of yours? Well, monster is a, is a derogatory term that you should never use. Uh, <laughs> wow. uh, so Frankenstein. Well, I've measured it. It's, it's, I've measured, it's been measured uh, in medical settings twice. In March, that was 31 centimetres. And in July, oh, that's, that's not a ruler. Yeah, the, yeah. The thir uh, th 30 centimetres ruler, right? Yes. Yeah. I don't know how big that is. Um, don't take that for. Did you go to school? Had, you ever, are, you are you too young for rulers? Yeah. Too young for <laughs> Mate, young guess for how old, do you know how old I am? 27. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's How old am I? I researched that. I did research oh. you. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> his name wouldn't come up. I've got Wikipedia. He doesn't. He doesn't it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> okay, so it's 12 point... Oh, no. How many inches are you? Well, it no, says 30, 36, the last measurement. So there's two different ways. Do you want to know the two ways of measuring penises? There's two yeah, official ways. Yeah. There's, there's bo sorry, bone press and non-bone press. So boner. Well, bo the bone is the pubic bone. Right. So that's where you put the ruler into. So again, well, if you're a bit of a... In it. Uh, uh, hold on. In it, but... Oh, right, on it. Well, the pubic bone is, you know, the pubis, the yeah. pubic yeah. area. Yeah. If, you, if you're made, you've measured at some point, you're, you're, you're a young man. Have you I? that? Yeah, no, I have. I have. I, have. I think if you have, I'm not well, saying you should reveal details. Well, back in the day, yeah, but... Well, I'm not saying before you came out to the studio you're doing it. I'm just saying <laughs> at some point when you were like, you know, 14 or whatever, you sure you must have like, at some point... We should have a measuring cock contest. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, I've got okay, <laughs> well, yeah, quick to say no. Definitely not. No, so so. Okay, so it was 31, now it's so There's different ways of measuring it. So again, if you measure oh. if you measure it non-bone press, that means you don't stick the ruler like in, it's kind of just on top. And then if you measure it bone press, you're sticking the ruler into the, like, the skin. So if mm, you're a, bit, I see. a chubby guy like me, yeah. that is where you get the extra stuff. And obviously, you know, there's fluctuation depending on kind of the day. So okay. the month right. one was a bit less. But yeah. It's also, also think about like if you're in the Olympics, you know, Usain Bolt runs a certain time. He's not always running that time. He's one of the fastest men in the world. Mm. But the, the, the times vary. It's kind of the same here. Are you yeah. are you comparing yourself to Usain oh, Bolt in the bedroom? With, in the Hold bedroom. Up. <laughs> I've just been given a tape measure. So are you and the props. Let's see. Jesus. <laughs> that's that's it is. Wait, wait, wait. So how? 30, that's ridiculous. That. That's oh. your penis. That's oh. it really. <laughs> not as yellow. Not as yellow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Let me. So that is. Well, thirty six is what it was. Uh, so thirty six. You say. Yeah. Uh, I can't figure this out. 30, the numbers go in order. 36. Yeah. Um, Come on, Jack. <laughs> okay. So that is the size. What, is, that, the, is that when it's inflated? Yeah, inflated. Yeah. It's got yeah, yeah. blood in it. It always has blood in it. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> Just like, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know if it's a dead piece of meat hanging <laughs> really? from your fucking I need to see a doctor if that's the case. I think it's generally... <laughs> okay, so that is the size of the bottom part of my leg. Your shin. 
That is that is shin size. That's the size. That that. Do it. You'll get yeah, demonetized. Yeah, yeah. You'll get demonetized. <laughs> yeah, true. Actually, yeah. Okay, so so what about thirty six? I want to hold that. Not yours. I want to hold this. No. So, that's imagine that. That's you. You're never getting a bone with that though. Surely that's just. No, you do, but it takes a long time. How long? Well, again, depends on the. You know, Circumstance. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> right, yeah. if it's a 10 out of 10 model, like yeah. uh, Margot Robbie or something. I always bring You're her up. I don't know why. That's... She's not even like my celebrity crush. I don't know why I bring her up. Who is your celebrity crush? It's a good idea. Um, who is my celebrity crush? Crush. 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 Why do you say it's a strange crush? Crush. Crush. Uh, crush. I, I used to like Ariana Grande. Really? But people mm. slate me for that, I reckon. Who's it's your back celebrity back crush? crush? Who would you like? To, who would you get a rock hard on? Probably Megan Fox. It was always back in the day. It was always a good option for me. So it's yours. I don't know. You always Come on. say this. <laughs> You're a podcast. Um, I, I like I used, content. You had to, you <laughs> to be fair. I, when I was younger, I used to say Ariana Grande. There you go. Or um, Sophia Vergara or yeah. something. Okay, that's a good answer. Who? Yeah. Who? Sophia Vergara. Oh, family. is that more oh. Colombian? Yeah, yeah, she's like a MILF thing. Too. Yeah, but I was talking about when I was younger, I think. When you were You're young. Still a MILF. She was yeah, still when a MILF. You, when you were young. <laughs> you were younger like five years ago. I had kids like 14 or something, and they're the teenagers. Yeah. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Okay, I've got a good question. Yeah. For me or for... Do you... Well, <laughs> this is... Okay, ready? Do you think mm. that ours combined is bigger <laughs> than his? <laughs> <laughs> that is a difficult question. That is a difficult question. So so what would ours have to be each? Uh, Six. What's yours in inches? Oh, 14. 14. Well, a bit over 14. 14 inches? Well, yeah, that's, just, that's just length as well. Sorry, we're we're lacking here, mate. That's so that. ours would have to be seven each. I, I'm bringing the pack in. <laughs> I don't know about you, Jack. I don't think. No, I'm Jack, I'm not. I haven't, I haven't got seven inches in me. Wait a minute. No, I mean. That's that's no, I mean. No, okay. <laughs> um, so, okay. So, how did this? Wait, do you have a world record for this? So, this is something I want to talk about as well. Uh -huh. So, Guinness does not track this as a record. So, no one has this record. If anyone says this, is a lie. Why not? Well, but probably because Guinness doesn't want to go around measuring dicks. I think. <laughs> and like, yeah. what if some guy just saying, "Hello, I've got the world's biggest penis." Measuring. <laughs> yeah. exactly. they probably not. Like, I don't know. That's that's my impression of a pervert for you. Yeah. But, um, you know, they that's what your dad sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> well, also because okay. so there's other places that do world records, but it's also it's very expensive to get a record. So I spoke to. Is it? Yeah. You have so, to pay. Yeah, I got paid. A lot, what? Well, a lot of it, I hate to, I hate to shout out your illusions of how innocent and kind the world is, but basically mm. most world records are done, they're sponsored by businesses or something, to promote a product or something. Yeah. Well, there's some money behind them because, you know, the YouTubers or whatever doing something mm. and they've got in there. So like for me, I spoke to the World Record Academy, they were saying 25 grand just to get set up not even to like you know obviously you that's more than our monthly salary <laughs> <laughs> that's more than our daily salary <laughs> oh, I'm I'm joking. Joking. you stole my i know i was just daddy. making it i was exactly it worse. yeah well. <laughs> <laughs> um carry on the shelf, yeah. Yeah. no so again that's the point it's like is it worth that it's not even guinness again guinness you think you know that's like a title that's like worth something yeah but for a random this isn't yeah a random yeah. record company that no one's heard of but do you want to know a crazy fact yeah i'm in the world record book i have a world record i didn't even know that you didn't know that I'm in the 2010 world record book. Why? Uh, my, Harry, you, oh no, you didn't, you didn't do it. Most Diablos thrown in one field. What the fuck? What's a Diablo? I don't know. It's like, you don't know what a Diablo is. No. Oh, it's you like, did old. say this. Do you remember these? Do you remember those? So well, like, well like toys, yeah. it was like those toys, you go like that. Well, I'd have been like, you know, and we got a, at the time, so probably wasn't yeah, yeah. Came Well, out. we got a whole our whole school to throw one in the air and catch it, and we got a world record for it. Oh, oh, like oh sorry, cab. sorry. Not you. I was part of it, and I'm pretty sure I'm in a picture in it. Yeah, I know, but it's like Jack Joseph has the world record for the No, Diablo. but I'm in it. I got yeah. I'm everyone's part in of it. I'm in yeah. it. I'm in the world record for um one of the it's like the most people doing the Superman. Really? Really? Yeah. Well, yeah, right. how many people? Loads, 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 that was a point, lots of people. How many people was it? I cannot remember because it's such a boring fact. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a cool fact. But, <laughs> but, no, it was a cool fact. Mine was not a fact. I think it's quite easy to get in the book as like the, you know, individuals yeah. is very difficult. He's, yeah. he's putting you down, mate. What do you, oh. No, I, 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 <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> well, I expect better. I mean, you know. yeah. Oh yeah, I was going to ask. So you said they had to measure it um, when, it, when it was inflated. Yes. How does that work then? Well, <laughs> yeah. does it work? Did I get a graphic already get in? to. <laughs> yeah, there's not like a little booth there. No, you just go, I mean, again, it's like a clinical thing. It's not like some kind of porn fantasy. You just have to go off and then go. You know, do what you can. Oh, and I then see. That way. But surely when you walk in and they start measuring it, you just be like, oh. And well, that's just... again, sort of a difference in sort of the sizes as well. Oh, it, so you have to instantly, well, whoop. there was a documentary before, you know, a few years ago as well. And that, they, they said the size there was 10 and a half. That's because, yeah, it didn't get Lying roused. Lying bastards. Because it was. Well, yeah. Because I didn't get 
Oh, because it was like that was like yeah. you walk in there and immediately do it. I'm like, okay, that'll do. So, yeah. So does it also, you know, when like say me and Jack would go to a doctor's office and you're nervous. Together. Well, sometimes. yeah, sometimes. <laughs> well, if if we are together, even more so, we'd go in there and our cocks, and it's really cold in there, our cocks would shrivel. Well, we would be all nervous. So, yeah. How does that happen? Does that happen? Oh, yeah, you? shrinkage is absolutely a thing. So, what is your shrinkage level, though? So, there's a, on the documentary, there's a scene where I go swimming. Yeah. And that is the shrink. Because I, I deliberately I didn't want to show up too much as well, because, you know, I've got a normal job, I've got a normal life. I don't want to be. Of course. Um, stereotype like this. Entirely. I want to have. A life so you this. went on TV? What? The <laughs> <Yeah>. fuck? <laughs> okay, yeah. No, okay, that's a fair point. You can yeah. that. I'm not going to complain about it. Like, obviously, you get some attention for it, but at the same time, you know, yeah. also, you know, don't want it to be you, your thing. thing. Mm, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, people who know me obviously know there's more to be than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, yeah. it's what we're going to talk about because that's the nature of mm, nature so. of the chat. Yeah, uh, but yeah, that was deliberately like designed to be like, okay, so here's me. This was, this was filmed obviously UK going out cold water swimming. In a very mm. skimpy pair of swim trunks. Right. So there's a very visual evidence of <laughs> shrinkage in terms of that is that is the shrinkage level. Okay. okay. But what is the shrinkage Jack, size? Down a bit. What is, what is the shrinkage size? Um I don't know. It varies. It varies still eight and a half to nine, I guess. That's that's shrink that's tiny. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's like that's see mine when my shrinkage size is like a peanut, genuinely. Mine is genuinely really? a mushroom like, head. Yeah. <laughs> like literally like a walnut. That's better. Yeah. That, that's like evolution telling you the right thing. Oh, is so it that- kind of fucked me up because well, you, you like the whole point of it is obviously is you don't want that thing flopping around when you're like running from things or dealing with yeah. extreme Animals. temperatures. For example, that's what it was back in back in the day. So, so why is why does that happen then? Your is yours like- variation? It's just standard, outside the standard deviation. Obviously, you know, it's, there's not like an official medical reason as to as to why because mm. there's a lot of fluctuation. Obviously, with any person, but to be this much above the the norm, yeah, mm. no one really knows some hormonal issue. But it's been yeah. in my life, so. So when there's not in a weird way, but when you were a kid, yeah. let's say when you were like two, <laughs> did not know. <laughs> I was barely making thoughts of those two. All right, fine. How, over five, I was not aware. Of did it. you have like a massive schlong? I did not know. Did your parents be like, "Why he's got?" My well, parents are very puritanical. They weren't going like four. You know? <laughs> they weren't. Oh. Like, they weren't no, I was very unaware because again, remember, I'm uh, you know generation before you, so I grew up. My mom, when I was five, there was well, there was the internet. I didn't have the internet, so there wasn't this kind of understanding oh. of all the stuff that was going on. You know, there was a lot more, mm. here's what's on TV. And certainly mm. TV kind of before the watch yet as well, because you didn't, you, you, you occasionally sneak off and watch stuff. So sure. you know, a little older, but you know, I was five, I didn't know anybody. I don't know. It was like all play yeah. school and stuff. So I didn't really know anything. And it was still quite, you know, it wasn't really until my teens that I sort of understood, oh, that's what this is. That's what it's for. Okay. Mm. How old are you now? 41. 41. 41. Yeah. So do you like the big penis? <laughs> so like the big penis. <laughs> do you like <laughs> the big willy? No, we get used to it as a thing. It's kind of like, yeah. I thought of having reduction, but it's a case of like, but then it's so weird to go from what you used to to that. The mm. thing is, right? Because girls, some girls say to men, they go, oh, I don't like the big one because they really hurt. And I'm like, that's really offensive because <laughs> <laughs> obviously you're saying that I'm <laughs> tiny. <laughs> but exactly. So um, if you engage in sexual intercourse, either with a whatever happens, preference, yeah. With whatever. Um, do does it hurt with a with a? I mean, you know, yes. Sometimes it's just incompatible. I mean, that's the, the you know mm. nature of, of body parts. Uh, you know, yeah, certainly. So I am heterosexual, like a, so there are certain. Oh, you, you know, there you go. It's just to you yeah. know, to do that. But ask. yeah, <laughs> would you say you're fetishized? <laughs> oh, no, I mean, I mean, I'm going to use that word. Real. Uh, what is the word? Is that is the word in it? Fetishized. Yeah, an extra syllable. Yeah. Fetishized. How do you say it? I don't know. Fetish. Fetishized. Fetishized. Still well, I'm like getting fetishized. Fetish. <laughs> what fetish. is it? fetishized? Yeah, fetish. Fetish. Oh. I you, know can't you know what fetish is? Fetish. Fetish. Fetishized. Yeah. Well, fetishized. Well, I, all right. Shut up now. I'm trying to say it. <laughs> fetish. You know what fetish is? Before a fetish. Yeah. Yeah. Is um someone who fantasizes over uh something weird. Yeah. No, or not wonderful. necessarily or something weird. Or, or, or wonderful. Yeah. So original, the original word, the word, the word <laughs> fetish was also, it's an African word from the African culture. It was about like fetish dolls and stuff that were used in sort of rituals and you know, the video rituals and those, those things. So you'd mm. use them so you'd like prey on a, a fetish doll. And that's, that's where the word kind of comes from. So you'd would they be about sexual it? dolls? No, they weren't. There's normal, there's normal fetish, like, you face them so you pray for your gods or whoever they were, or the lowers or they went voodoo or whatever, to try and, you know, that's cool. summon certain things. So that's where the word fetish has evolved from being like, again, it's a weird, unusual thing you kind of worship in that yeah. context or mm. an element you worship in the fetish form. And then it's sort of, now you only use it in the sexual context. Yeah. So there's a, there's a fun okay. fact for you. So that is a, that is a for the low IQ of our podcast, yeah. but I try and- Well done, we yeah, bring guys up. Fetishized it. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so have you been fetishized then? Yeah, I mean, obviously that's the way. I mean, realistically, obviously, yeah, I'm not I'm not an attractive man. So it's like not- Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look like Mr. Beast. 
With Mr. Bean. Which I've Mr. Oh, Mr. Bean. <laughs> do you know who Mr. Beast is? I'm not that old. Yeah, no, no, well, all right. Well, you, yeah. I, do you think he looks like Mr. Beast? Slightly, yeah. I see. I've got the, 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 yeah. I've, the I've got more light behind the eyes. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> a lot true. less money. Because uh, he smiles and he's like he's this, and he's yeah. like he doesn't. His eyes don't move. Like no, I'm, I'm I'm a millennial, which means I kind of know everything that's about YouTube, the big stuff there. But TikTok, I know nothing about. Nah. You're not on TikTok? Not on TikTok. I don't, I don't get TikTok. Like, I, I, I've reached the point of now I'm old because I just don't understand TikTok. Like, you can't search it, really. It's a shit search engine. Mm. You know, you, oh, it's all yeah, yeah. I don't like having stuff. I want to I find my stuff. I don't want to. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, that's a good point, actually. Yeah. yeah, but you just kind of, it's like, it's just eyeballs just looking at stuff. <laughs> yeah. I mean, sorry, boomer rant. We got something here. Is it true that you once left a woman concussed with your penis? It, well, they said concussed. It, it was, we went to the hospital about it. But yes, okay. partner. What, what, just a random woman. Wasn't just oh, okay. Random. Sorry, your partner. You, what, you hit her with it or something? Or? Yes, by accident. By accident. Sorry, no, what, what do you mean? How were you just getting your cock out? Were you just get out of the shower? Well, yeah, no, we were, were going <laughs> to swing it we were around. Gonna, uh, the there was going to be, you know, sexy times. Yeah, yeah It wasn't just randomly, you know, in the, oh, okay. middle, of, in the middle of the day. But yes. And you thought... I like didn't it. think that. I, just oh. moved, I moved too quickly and then her head was in the wrong place and then... That's insane. It's <laughs> like an elephant's <laughs> cock. <laughs> what? But, uh, yeah, whether it was... I mean, I don't know if a technical concussion, but she was, you know out for a bit and went to like take the she actually Jesus. got knocked well, out like, like, Ooh, like, she, Ooh. Wasn't, like, she wasn't fully passed out or anything she was what like, did you have to say to the doctor just not she was rude, did not say that yeah. <laughs> that was not in the uh, official report that's oh. gonna look so weird when you walk in they're gonna be well suspicious he's knocked me out of his knob <laughs> <laughs> yeah what that is did she like it I don't think anyone likes it no oh, that, uh, <laughs> that's like particular fetish knocked. to get like Beaten by that. Well, there you go. Some people really. I don't know. I don't know if it is. I don't oh, know. Must, I imagine it. There's a lot be. of strange things out there that people like. Everyone likes. Yeah. You know, I don't want to yuck anyone's yum, as they say. But so, anyone's. so when you did you? Is that yeah. not a thing Gen Z say? Mm, yuck uh, anyone's I'm not yum. Gen Z. Well, what are you? Alpha. Gen um, Alpha. I don't know what that is, but I'm You're an alpha. 27. I, well, 1997. What is it? Gen Z. Is it? Gen Z. I'm, what am I? I'm an old millennial. I'm like the, the Vanguard millennial. You're, you're the same. I assume you could be Gen Alpha, but I don't well, know. I'm 24. 24. I was 2000. Ooh. Yeah. I'm a... Anyway, it's tough. Oh, I recently found out that noughties... Do you know what noughties is? That's 90s. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, it's not. Why would it be 90s? Yes. Naughty but, 90s, mate. Mate, okay, right. This has actually blown my mind, yeah. right? Because I thought the noughties was the 90s because people were naughty in the 90s. That's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> but apparently, naughty stand for the noughts in the 2000s. This is very endearing of you. I, I oh, so you're a naughty? <laughs> I'm a naughty. No, I'm not. I'm a 90. No, what am I? You're a naughty. naughty yeah, I'm a naughty. I thought the naughty 90s. Where's that? Yeah, from? that's How did we both the roaring 20s. I don't know. What, the what the naughty 40s was a, was a thing. Because it rhymes. I think about the 40s. I thought it was just. Well, if you people... thought a noise with the 40s, then you would be insane. But thinking it's the 90s <laughs> is also terrible. So, what did you think it was? I, th oh, I, 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 never th I didn't know this was a thing you could get wrong. <laughs> I, I, I've, I've never thought anything less than I've heard of the number naught. And I thought, oh, the naught. Also, I, I lived through the years. I didn't think it was I like was, a naught naught. No, I was like naughty. 17 in the year 2000. So yes, I was aware of what the noughties were. There was a lot of discussion because no one liked it because it sounds shit. Because obviously yeah. up to that point, it's always been the, the, the number. And they were like, what do we do now? We can't call it the zeros or the... Oh, uh, the, the, okay, but then... Because no one says the tens now, do they really? It sounds shit if you say the tens. What do you say? You don't. But what if we get to 2090? Then it's going to be the 90s again. Well, there's also the point when, you get, when you're that far apart, like you know, like if someone's talking about the 90s, they don't mean the 1890s, they mean the 1990s. So I think this, oh, you know, that's just so yeah, but when which is yeah. prejudice when we do yeah. people well exactly when yeah. we do get 2090 though will if we, we do, we'll, world climate change oh, yeah mm. might blow up but then it'll be the 90s again like you say yeah. well we might live will we live that long uh I will yeah no I will is that a promise I'll probably live longer than you <laughs> yeah probably yeah, <laughs> yeah I think so <laughs> when are you predicted to die. Uh, I think it's Tuesday. <laughs> when are you predicted to start? <laughs> no, it's in How like... The doctors didn't tell me, actually. On the <laughs> I mean, well, you know, no, I don't know if there's like any, you know, if there's any health ramifications of this for long-term stuff. Because it does... Yeah. It's, I put on weight more quickly as well because of like hormonal stuff. I'm also a bit lazy. So it's not, mm. not purely that. But again, it does have other ramifications because it's like an endocrine system issue. So uh, yeah. you know, mm. hopefully I will live... To, not the 90s, but you know. It's going to be the 60s. When did you um, kind of figure out you got a big knob? I mean, what showers, thing? gym showers is like the only time. Oh, gym, what, you compared in the gym We didn't shower? actually compare, but you just have eyes. You must have felt like look a around. Don, Oh, oh mate, if I was you in a gym, <laughs> oh, I'd be in that shower all day. <laughs> I'm Fruit, mate, mate, that look, is Look at so, that, you boys. Yeah, just in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> I think you get thrown out. 
<laughs> yeah, but do you remember those? Oh, uh, have you ever seen these like uh, when you're younger porn videos, right? Where it's <laughs> when like, you're younger, now yeah, porn, when I you're younger. Not seen a porn video. No, when uh, they have a fake cock and it's a fake massive what? cock and it's like spews. Yeah, there's a guy called uh, Long Dong Dong Silver. Long Dong Silver. Oh, there you go. Was, long... He was around in like the 50s and 60s. And they've the got 90, a fake 50s, long stick. Yeah, and it really, like, goes down to like here or something. It's like an yeah. obvious like prosthetic. But again, it's the 70s, so no one knew the camera was all shit. Mm. Uh, and then he was on TV recently, or the guy who made the, the penis was on TV, mm. and they had this like hideous, this hideous latex thing in the oh, corner really? that had all de decayed from the years. Like that's what it was. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> hell! Have you um have you got offers from uh oh, yeah porno? Yeah, it's just not something I really want to do. I don't again. Um, it was different when I was growing up as well. I think nowadays you've got OnlyFans and stuff, so there's more oh, like yeah. uh, personal ownership of stuff that you can mm. do. Like you know, if, if back in my day, if you wanted to do porn, the, the progression was very much you had to do a lot of awful stuff to be in a position where you were good, unless you, unless you knew the right people or whatever, you know, mm. there's a lot of ways to do that. Whereas now you can just have a camera and, point it, and the cameras are good, so you can do it all yourself. Yeah. So yeah, it's very different. And now I'm not an old fat man, so it's a bit too- I bit think too you, if you made an OnlyFans, it'd bang, I think. Yeah, I agree. People I, don't know, I don't know, I don't think that's true, because you, know, you you might get, you're gonna get mostly men anyway. I think women like use OnlyFans the same way. True. And also a lot of them do like, you know, the the, the tight abs and everything like that. So did, trying, to, trying to lose a bit of weight, trying to, I need to, I need to find a good personal trainer and maybe I've mm. thought about doing that if I do get in good shape at some point, but. When you were in your twenties, how was, how was that? This <laughs> is a blur. Oh. Was it? <laughs> yeah. What? Well, it's very much like, I, I think I was quite repressed, a bit puritanical at certain points. Puritanical. Don't say that means. Puritanical. puritanical. I think Cole knows what uh, Okay. Carl wouldn't know what it means. Pure, I reckon pure, 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 oh, oh, pure, puritan. Oh, oh, I was thinking puritanical. That's not a word. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> puritanical is uh, like I was a bit, I was a bit uh, puritanical about it. I was, yeah, it's like that. Is it? That's no, good. You just didn't say anything. You just said it's like uh, <laughs> you said literally um, nothing of any value. You were puritanical about it, so you were a bit hesitant about it. No, no. What I think it is is uh, I was puritanical. I was uh, I was keeping myself pure and virginal. That's closer. What? There you go. Well, it's a religion. The Puritans are a religious. There you go. Is that actually what it is? Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, you. Oh, well done. Pure, mate. Pure. Yeah, that's Pure good. I should have. Yeah, you should have I'm not sure if that's the direct link. It will be. Group. It will be. We'll, look, look can we look it up. Can we on camera? Well, uh, we'll just do that later. <laughs> Etymology <laughs> challenge <laughs> every episode where you just need, <laughs> yeah, just call know where words come from. Yeah. So you said, but yeah, in so your twenties, yeah. you're puritanical. Well, I, yeah, well, yeah. Again, it was kind of yeah. Grew up kind of a nerdy kid as well, so I didn't you know. A bit of attention, some stuff happened over there, but you know, still felt a bit different. And then, you know, after uni, it was sort of end of uni, sort of things went wild, you know, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And then back to being puritanical, and then I was a bit bored being puritanical, I was going wild again. I always yeah. very much go into kind of peaks and troughs, I guess, in terms of how mm -hmm. much I care about doing, you know, crazy stuff. Mm. Were you ever worried that people would only care about the knob? I mean, some people do. It's a thing. <laughs> yeah, Did you care people, about that? What do you mean with, people, though? Like, like <laughs> if you were to date someone, but the it's like you know when people date someone just for their money. Yeah. What if you would? Did you ever have anyone yeah, that happened, you dated definitely. just for your knob? Yeah, it's definitely happened. I think, so I mean, I, one thing I do want to clarify, obviously, I, I'm not saying you know. I think that most women don't care about size, realistically, unless you're like, yes, you know, <laughs> <laughs> unless you're. I mean, obviously, I can't speak for all women, but unless you're like absolute tiny or something, uh, then, you know, tiny. Oh, oh, the willy's tiny. Yeah. Oh, you should do a thing where you you take a picture with a man with a micro penis. <laughs> yeah. Well, have you done that? No. Oh, <laughs> I can't <really> do that. <laughs> well, the, the, you stand stand by side by side, have your big schlong out, and then have his tiny little acorn out, and then you could just compare it. It'll be like a like a meme. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to be a like meme. A meme. <laughs> you can't, okay, so, you, you remember? The, did you see that meme with the uh, the guy on the bed that was going around? All oh the yeah, I've got that on a cup. Oh, the black guy. Yeah, but that's all photoshopped as well. Did everyone know that? Oh, that's not real. Oh, what not is real. his name? Harry Wood. Wood. Something Wood. Barry, Barry Wood. Wood. That's good first name knowledge. Sorry, how did you know yeah, that, first, Harry? <laughs> just Barry straight Wood. out Barry Wood. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, we yeah. have. Uh, yeah, I got a mug where when you put yes. uh, pour hot water, it just releases his knob. Yeah. But so that's not real. But that's actually Photoshop. So the, 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 you can see the original image of him online. Uh, it's how still big like is not it? tiny guy, but it's not that big. How big mm. are we talking? So what sort of? I, I don't know. I've not mentioned it, but <laughs> oh yeah, fair. I've not been there. I mean, so, again, he's a big guy. Again, it's because the meme is obviously ha, -ha you know, black man, big penis mm. element of it as well, and whole shock shocking them with it. Yeah, but it's actually Photoshop. So a lot of stuff people think is like again, you thought it was both a normal thing, is a real thing. I thought it was, mm. big, I thought it was big. It's big not. One. It's just Photoshop. That's what, what's, what is the average then? 5.5. And is that when it's inflatable? Oh, correct, yeah. 
Oh, inflatable. really? Inflatable. Well, you say inflatable. Why do you say inflatable? <laughs> I don't know. Inflatable. Inflatable. Well. <laughs> Every cock's inflatable. <laughs> yeah. <What is> <laughs> so 5.5 when it's like four. When it's the... Different studies, though, again, like anything from like five to six, six. we will generally say. All right, Jack, how do you stand up to the average? Uh, what is what is the average um, little one? Like when it's not in, uh, inflated. Inflated. <laughs> inflatable. I don't, know. I don't actually know that. That's, yeah, that's, so that's a good yeah. point because like this three, is the, I guess I don't know because a lot of people say about being a shower and a grower. Grower and showers, yeah. Uh, three three point five. Eight. How, okay, okay. Yeah. Can I, let's, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> let's all get a cocktail. Right. <laughs> okay, so yeah, tell me extra fiber for that. Let's actually <laughs> figure this out. So, so lit when it's little, it's what does that say? Three point five. Yeah. So that's three. Po- is that that? Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay, so there it is. that's about right, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's about right. Yeah, that's quite. But does that does nice. does does that mean even when you're really cold? No, like when you're in shrink, a cold shrinkage, shower. Shrinkage. Would you mean that? Or yeah, you mean? is that like cold that's, well, shower? No, that's, so that'll be getting that'll be in measurements. Warm. So the thing with a lot of the studies though is a lot of them are self measured as well. So there's vary. There's some that are measured by doctors, some that are measured by yourself. So oh, really, you, that is uh, yeah, the normal that. normal erect. One is that, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, I'm just, I'm just, just <laughs> yeah, that mountain. Yeah, that's yeah, this small. Apparently, I've heard that that is the size of your knob. You've heard. You've heard. Well, that. clearly not. No, well. Yeah, okay, well, I, well, do that <laughs> quickly. Let's. Yeah. There you go. No. I've got a bigger knob than you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let me. <laughs> let me, let, let oh, me oh, it's not real, though, is it? It's not real. Oh. Are you sure? Actually, oh, get it out then. I've, oh, that is. I've been working with this company called Size Him, and they do an app that's like you predict penis sizes based on your handprint. So you can like oh, really? Someone. You just send a picture of your hand; it will analyze it based on that. So it's not it's not purely based on this; it's based on sort of length of other bits of it. Okay, like it's, it's, it, it's it's kind of pseudo science. It's not you can never get not it. real sure. science. Imagine, right. imagine if they got it from that your <laughs> hands. <laughs> well, I tried it; yeah, they didn't. But we're working with them to sort of try and improve the algorithm. So hopefully, what about improvements? Isn't it important about the girthage because yes, length is the word at uh, age there. Girthage. Yeah, yeah. What is did did you measure girthage? Yeah, that was part of the study. Is it good girthage or uh, eight and a half ish? What does that mean? What does that mean? Is that what? so eight, oh, eight and a half, yeah. Eight and a half round. Yeah. So what's Wait, that? so what is that in well, in hand size like that? Do it with your hands. Uh that I guess. Fuck off. That's, That's ridiculous. Oh man. my god. For fuck's sake. I don't know. Mine's I just, fucking not. I don't my, even think my like fingers it. touch when I grab it. That's not yeah, normal. mine overlap. Yeah, I know, I know. it's annoying. It's annoying. <laughs> would you would you rather it not? Would you actually I'd want ra- to have a big I would rather have a little bit more girthage. Yeah. It, my girthage is fine, but I, I want it to like I don't want it to hurt. Why are you saying girthage? Like, all right, girth. Yeah. girth. It's really bothering me. Right. Sorry. <laughs> so um, what what oh, you were talking about penis reduction size. Yes. Is it possible to get penis enlargement size? Yes. Surgery. Yeah. So there's it different is. ways to do it. Yeah, people do it all the time, like fillers and stuff. They do. Like it's you know, you can there's people so part of when I say like <laughs> when it's like what's biggest medically verified, there are people who inject silicon into themselves. Oh, but that's mental that. Yeah, sure. that's like a level. But so again, I'm probably not bigger than like again, if you're putting a gallon of oil in your <laughs> whatever <laughs> yeah. it is down there. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna beat that. That's you know mm. there's people who have, you know, scrotums that are down to their what? Because that's oh, what they like to do. Oh, Fetish. It's a weird thing for them. So yeah, I'm not, I don't want to be that. <laughs> oh shit. Do you have to wear special pants? No, you just have to wear bigger pants. Oh, you just really big pants? Well, do you mean, do you mean underwear pants or pants? Is like, but, but, no, like pa- uh, like underwear pants. Yeah, there's like, boxes. there's companies that make ones which are roomier. So you can just do there's that. There's like big knob boxer pants. Yeah, there's, there's, <laughs> well, there's lots of people who like you say, who do inject stuff or whatever. So they make things for them. So you can use those as well. Oh. What about when you're swimming? Well, yeah, so the, the, again, the custom ones, like the one the documentary was like a custom pair. Because your cock would be hanging out the end, end of it. We wear, you wear, so the thing I was in the documentary, I was wearing something very Speedos. skimpy, but that's, I normally wear that and then some shorts over it. Okay, so you wear, you wear skimpy, you don't wear skimpy. I don't wear skimpy. You don't <laughs> so the exact opposite, what you said, the exact opposite of what you said, yes. Do you notice people staring ever? I mean, yeah, obviously. I mean, I've... I'm, as I'm getting, do you mean like day to day or do you mean like... Yeah, like let's say you're in the tube. Do you ever see people like looking at your nose? Yeah, like I try and be, you know, conservative in terms of like, you know, 
Mm. I mean, this is like, you know, and black black chinos. Obviously, you've got the stripes going down, which kind Absolutely. of distracts from it. You've got kind of mm. a lot of room up the front as well to kind of... I'm not looking like, there. Stop pointing. Stop point <laughs> <out. laughs> just no. keep the eyes. Okay, look at the leg. You see, this is a black a black sweat thing with chinos. So yeah. it's like mm. a fabric that kind of detracts from it. Sure. So, that, so you can dress around that. Like, again, you're not like wearing like, grey sweatpants or whatever. Or, mm. oh. And no underwear or something. <laughs> girls sure, around that. But, but, so when, when you were younger, though, like our age, yeah. did, it, did it make you feel like proper confident? No, it sort of did it first. And the same situ situations, yeah, like obviously, like say, sort of showers or situations like that, mm. or particularly like laddie occasions. Yeah, it can do. But again, you, you're still like that freak show element. You are, you are different. You get teased for it. And you say, oh, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's funny and stuff. But it, you, know, you can take the jokes, whatever. Yeah. But, you know, it does cause issues with compatibility, you know, all the other mm. issues as well. So it's not like, you're not always like, yeah. there's always that kind of myth about, do you know what a snectic is? As a word for you. Wait, say again? Synecdoche. Well, oh, synecdoche. Oh, synecdoche. 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 Don't tell us. Synecdoche, yeah? Yeah. Synecdoche. I'll spell it for you. Can you, can you say it in a sentence, please? Yeah, no, because I'll tell you what it is. Oh, uh, yeah, go on. Well, well, I can use a sentence. Yeah, you say in a sentence, yeah. Okay. Uh, the penis is a synecdoche for masculinity. Oh, I know. Oh, oh it's like... Oh, um, a synecdoche for masculinity. That's... Uh, it's like a fucking... Uh, what that is? Pivot. No, like a pivot. It, what it means is it's a synecdoche for masculinity it's just like a show it like what you do uh what does it mean it's like uh, a showing of masculinity it's like a yeah it's like a, a feature of masculinity yeah. it's the pinnacle a stereotype of masculinity i've like been on countdown <laughs> <laughs> is that right no it's not completely right oh. Oh, what the um, fuck? So it's, um, <laughs> it's like a metaphor uh but it's basically oh. so it, when people say that like, the crown represents uh royalty or monarchs like nothing in the crown itself is inherently to do with the royals it's just an mm. object people if you say the crown people will know what that means if you think about royals mm. you think about penis you think men manly men you know big penis manly mm. strong confident all that stuff yeah but it's not it's just a biological organ isn't it it's just a random so random body part so it's people people have that assumption because of again people see big penises in porn mostly and in porn is a myth to a degree people acting like look at me i'm the, the big dog mm. yeah. yeah can i ask a question yeah yeah. <laughs> wow. I got your um, what would be... We, okay, I've got two sort of questions that oh. lead into each other. I know. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. Wow, you I gave one. you one. <laughs> Give me an <laughs> Right. So, if you could go back in time and have a different size penis, yeah. would you do it? And what length? If yeah, yes. probably. Like, I don't know. Like, go on. Eight. Okay. Modest eight. A modest, okay. Well, again, it's different though, because again, if I had never, it depends, have I got all my memories of this? Because I'd know what sort of, you know, yeah. you still want to know that, you know, I don't know, it's still difficult because, you, you know, I've had four years of, well, not four years, but you know what I mean? A, yeah. a long enough time in this body that I know that it's kind of like, you're just used to it. It's Is it more positive or negative, do you think? More negative, where everyone goes like, oh, poor you, complaining about it. Oh my God. Yeah. Obviously, mm. in the grand scale of problems in the world, I'm not saying this is, you know, mm. with uh, there are wars, Kim, etc. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, she says, uh, <laughs> there yeah, are people dying, Kim. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I actually quoted that yesterday. That's weird you say that. That's weird. Oh. Yeah, that's weird. All right, question two. Yeah. Huh? Oh, that was question. That was all questions done. What was the second part? Of the what was the second part? Uh, no, the second part was if what so, you, what, what size it? would you go down to? And you, oh, okay. and you did answer both questions. Oh, good. There you go. Okay, well, I was going to ask. first question then? Yeah, but would you have a smaller penis if you can go back? Okay. There you go. See, listen, guys. I mean, that's kind of the same. Yeah. That's, that's the same. same. Well, just that's shut just the one. Fuck up and Jack, <laughs> you asked one, right? Um, so, when you used to go, like, did you go clubbing and stuff when you were younger? Y yeah, not much, but um, I mean, I've you, been you know bars, clubs occasionally. Again, yeah. Times. Would you ever meet people in these kind of places? Well, yeah, mate. He's not. <laughs> the place yeah. is fucking empty. Okay, no, no, right, I'm just away. Like, I'm not attractive. I didn't like, I didn't, like <laughs> leave the room. Like, Donkey Kong! <laughs> so, face alone. Know, but, <laughs> but would you uh, would you clarify with them before? Would you say like, "Oh, I have a big knob," by the way? No, or would not you in those words? You wouldn't like that. Would wear a t-shirt with it on? I just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, should, can we do a acting scenario? Yeah, we so can. So if he yeah. was a girl, if he was a girl, who are you? Uh, I'm just you're a Norman. He's the woman. What, <laughs> what part do I have? I feel in like this? I'm traumatized. It's my youth. Like having, All right, well, you, you're my friend. I'll, I'll just Japanese. be a friend. You, how how would you how would you break the ice with? Okay, so this. I mean, I wouldn't do it at like the first part. Of it. I don't no, want, no, you, I don't want to spoil the role playing. But I wouldn't no, you, like go up to a girl or like in the first. It's basically if things are getting to that point where mm. I think you know. Mm. 
you know, it's getting hot and heavy. All right, let's it's, do it. Let's do it as a scenario. Don't get right? hot and heavy. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, right? We can skip ahead. Fast forward. Yeah, yeah fast, fast forward. forward. You already like it. All right, so... Yeah, you're like me, you've done, you've done some flirting and stuff. Yeah, you've done, you know, yeah this like, is... Rolled this your eyes and stuff. Yeah. This is scenario. I've rolled your eyes. Scenario rolled. time. <laughs> yeah, I've rolled my eyes well, probably. <laughs> okay. Later. So, Kim, let's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like him now. <laughs> the no, role play. So, uh, you you always do this segment where you role play. We do. <laughs> yeah, we, do. Yeah, we, we do. actually yeah, do. Wow. So you, I've already we've been speaking for about half an hour. Oh, this, and this I'm is, I'm a fast uh, And then I'm gonna, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna <laughs> I'm gonna introduce my friend. This is uh, this is Kim. Hi, I'm Kim. Hi, Kim. Kim. This is Matt. What happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> How do you sound like that? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> what? Yeah. And then I say, yeah, there you go. And then I say, this is Matt. He's really nice. He's completely. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm in San Dimas Valley for some reason. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out: Am I getting the knob, or are you getting the knob? Because you're in introducing... oh, baby. Two, oh. one, let's go. <laughs> There's enough to go around. Okay, I mean, no. I mean that, that's one Kim. thing. That's one thing it's better for. Okay, yeah. I kind of want knob as well. You don't know about his big knob, Kim. <laughs> no, I know, but I just want knob tonight. <laughs> well, I've got a friend named Dougal. He's. Uh... I don't. So, I don't want Dougal. So my, my friend wants knob. Have you got knob? <laughs> So, uh, have you spoken to women before? <laughs> I feel like this, this is, is uh, exactly what women say. Exactly no, 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 I, don't, I, mean, I don't speak to many women who are like 18 to 20. But if that's what they sound like now, I'm very worried for the okay. future of the species. So we want to go back with you, I think. Okay. Can you show it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought the role play was about me uh, trying to say how we'd bring it up. Oh, yeah. Okay. And oh, instead oh, oh. you're saying... Yeah, this is, we're giving you opportunity, <laughs> mate. We're, we're, yeah, how would well, you bring really. it up? Okay, so really? you bought us What a year is this? 1940. Uh, <laughs> like, no, listen, see, I can't do it. I'm fighting the war. Jesus. <laughs> no, this you is. Kill this Hitler. is this it was a D-Day happening soon. <laughs> this is uh, the 90s. Yes. So I would have been 18. Okay. We're saying, we're saying 18. Yeah. yeah. Late, late 90s. Okay. Yeah. Right. This is it now. Okay. Yeah. No yeah. interrupting. This is it. This is a you got You got to flirt with us in yeah. a way. Okay. Ready? So, uh, Kim, this is Matt. Hi, Matt. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't want to do this. Matt. This is, this <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> this is Kim. Um, What's your name? My, my name's Stacy. Okay. Uh, and I quite like you, Matt. Oh, that's very kind do of you, you to say. like me? Um, is this a scam? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a scam. I'll, I'll be honest. If, 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 if any girl talks to me like that, I think I would assume they're trying to steal my organs or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. They'll, they'll steal that, mate. They'll get a lot of the black market. market. <laughs> well, I don't think you can do like full transplant, so... Well, there is like sure they can eat it or something, can they <laughs> feed a Who's fucking family? Are you saying that young women eat penises? Uh, yeah, cannibals, some cannibals. Yeah, would. they would eat that first. How many cannibals do you know? I know. If you... I reckon you could transplant a knob. I've seen. Uh... Well, you could like. I mean, you could transplant things, but you wouldn't be able to make it fully. I don't think. Correct. There was a. You can have a robot. You have the one on your arm. You see the guy who had a penis on his arm. Well, you've seen. The <laughs> Everyone knows. <laughs> what do you say? I don't know. <laughs> there was a documentary channel four. There's a man with a penis on his arm. So, Just but he best. grew his. Could he? He'd lost his penis. Yeah, you can say it. Uh, yeah. Well, you just <laughs> said it. <laughs> he said he's got a penis on his arm, but he, he lost his. <laughs> yes. You say, you say. Then they grew it. The doctors grew it. It has to be from his own skin, so that's why he has to have this. Penis. And the balls. I just didn't watch it. I don't think oh. it was balls. It might have been balls. I don't yeah, but why balls. choose the arm? You choose somewhere a bit more it's, covered. We need like a, a patch of healthy kind of skin to grow from. So Surely. Like but but would, could he use his knob on his arm? No. <laughs> Oh, he's not wanking himself off. No, well, he well, it, piss no it's like it. a soft thing. It's just the tissue and all that stuff. So you grow the things and you transport it and then the blood. Oh, so he grew it on his arm and then moved it to his. Well, the, doc the doctors did it. Obviously, they didn't just do it. They did it. Oh, that one there, I think. When you guys are in Turkey, try it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. You want a spare? Yeah, but when it was grown on his arm, was it actually physically growing bigger? Oh, well, it's more, again, it was soft. So it was. Yeah, but w and then would it grow? Would it actually grow in time? Yeah. How the wow. fuck does that happen? Mine don't fucking grow. <laughs> Maybe if I put it on my arm. You're growing it with a skin cells. It's like yeah. it's on your arm, is it? And then I'll I'll grow it. Oh. And then I'll pop it. We should try my... that, yeah. We should cut a knob That off. is a good uh, challenge, I think. Night oh, night oh night YouTube. New YouTube series. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Especially YouTube would love you. <laughs> yeah. Um, so okay. have you ever had it where like you forgot to tell them like a girl or something. I mean, sometimes and then I just it's just a... nervous to do it. Like it's difficult. To, like, again, like, you know, sometimes you go on a date and you go get on well. It's like, how do you bring it up? Like, it's, yeah. Mostly I'm, you know, meeting via, you know, dating sites or friends of friends. And if it, sometimes they know because of, you know, people talking and friends of friends. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's just difficult to like, to, to do it. Cause it's, you know, if it's, it's fine if, it's fine if they, 
go up to you and say, so, what shall we shoot up? Yeah. yeah. Major American accent, but like most us. women don't. Yeah. It's like, again, you do, and you don't want to like, you know, sometimes it's not going to go anywhere anyway. There's not as much time a date and it just flops because, you know, you don't have any chemistry. Literally. Mm. Literally, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. But what, 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 what's their reaction though? Surely that's like... I, I've had I've had screams. I've had... Screams? What, so you tell them, oh, I've got a bit of a... No, no, I tell them. <laughs> I don't know what I tell them when they see it. I don't want to know. The saying it doesn't make them scream. And that's never happened. Oh, okay. that'd, be, that'd be very strange. Um, <laughs> that'd be strange. And again, not, okay. like a, not like a, you know, Wilhelm scream. scream. Just, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. What, um, like, I'm like a gas like a, Oh, okay. Like a shit. Like a loud one. Fine, yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can wait, see what you're like. I don't We've been talking about knobs for bars half an hour. So <laughs> that's, I imagine. That's scientific. So. Yeah, well, I suppose. It's educational. Yeah. What's your type of woman? Type of woman. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's difficult. Very lot. Like a smart woman. Smart. Yeah. So is it our looks, attra- um, our looks attractive? Uh, uh, our looks attractive. Our looks attractive. News Important. at seven. I mean, no, again, I'm not the most attractive man in the world. I'm not saying, you know, I'm not going to try and hunt down 10, 10 out of 10s. But obviously, you're going to find someone more attractive if you are physically, you know, simpatico. Hmm? Simpatico. Oh, simpatico. Oh, oh right. Yeah. Simpatico. What if you're simpatico? You have to both be simpatico. Yeah, we are. Oh, yeah. yeah we are compatible. Yeah. Yeah. Just say that. Simpatico. Just say that. Yeah. Simpatico. <laughs> Just merge them word. both. Yeah. <laughs> Just merge them both. Right. Okay. Fine. Uh, we've got here. <clears throat> we've got here. We've got here. Do women here. ever bite off more than they can chew where they see it as a great in idea in theory to take your big knob or uh, do they like bite off more? They, can they not take it? Can they just like... Yeah, I mean, so the, the thing about like, you, maybe you don't know this, but some men exaggerate the size of their genitalia. Oh, we know. We know. Do we? <laughs> no. What do you mean, we know? I don't know. Who have we... Sw- who? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. That's a good bit. Uh, so basically, a lot of... And certainly, porn is very much guilty of that. Like, if you're measuring from, like, underneath, you know, for example, mm. you add a couple of inches or something, and some guys will just say, oh, yeah, I've got nine inches, ten inches, and it's, you know, seven. So they, again, if they hear the site, the number, they might think, oh, you know... Because people will even... even the, the measurement back in March that was 31, people say, oh, no, that can't be the biggest in... UK or whatever, no, because you know, I know loads of guys who are 12. It's like, you don't, what you're talking about, you know, people mm. can't use rulers or, or align to you directly. Yeah, but mm. it's very common for them to be like, you know, <laughs> mistaken about what they can handle, right? And then they just like just buckle, do they? When, <laughs> when whenever you like a... <laughs> introduce it to them and they see the cockzilla, it's, it's, there's a variety of uh, you know, uh, willingness to continue, shall we say, right? Do you call it something? Do you have a name for oh, it? Yeah. I don't, I don't. I've heard people do. People do. I do. I never have. That's always been the case. I've never done. It doesn't make sense to me. It's part of me. It's, I don't want to be like a. You, know, you should. Maybe. You should name it. What was, well, like, you got like a little hat or something important. And then <laughs> oh, you should character. dress it up. Yeah, put a little scarf and yeah. waistcoat yeah. or something. Yeah, I thought. Like, 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 should we name it now on the pod? No. <laughs> <laughs> you can. I wouldn't use that name. You're welcome to come you up. might really like. Do you call yours something then? Because no, but we should. Oh, well, should we name yours? Uh, okay, let's name our knobs. Um, Here at live on the podcast. Your knob. Yeah, this, <laughs> this, this, this is a yeah. All right, new can, segment. Name your new knob. segment. Say it. Name your knob. <laughs> new segment. <laughs> Every guest, yeah, even when they're female, <laughs> yeah, not they know. They know. Imagine they know. us when we were younger, watching what we're doing <laughs> right now. <laughs> Name your name, <laughs> <laughs> guy. There, set with a bunch of fucking. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's name That's it then. Hilarious. all right jack you go first um oh how do you name a knob we'll give it a name what have you named have you named a pet before name uh yeah i, I call my dog rambo all right well oh, i'd it, like to call my knob rambo is that confusing no no or yeah. rocky yeah. here rambo oh yeah good, good point, rambo. <laughs> yeah. <And it> just <laughs> whoop <fetch. laughs> uh, i'd call it something something like like a something sh- like a baby mouse, <laughs> like a baby, like a baby mouse. <laughs> yeah, like a baby mouse. Yeah. What do you mean? Call it baby mouse? Well, no, as if you're going to call like a baby mouse. Pepelino. Uh What would Pepelino. I call a baby mouse? Uh, I'd call it like a uh, Rocky. I would call it Rocky. Right. It's not like a mouse though. No, but uh, it's it, it kind of represents strongness and willingness. Moose. Is your is your Willie strong and willing? I'm <laughs> Willie Strong and Willie. Well, you said willingness. I mean, oh, willing. Uh, no. <laughs> no, no. I, 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 I Sorry to your girlfriend. I, no used to, no. I used to have a problem with it inflating because I broke it, I think. You always say inflating instead of... Oh, yeah, I always yeah. forget the word. Yeah, but they're the same, same it's meaning. It's just I've never heard that from yeah, before. Yeah, he does that. But surely, because I once slapped it so hard that it just didn't with work what? properly. Just on my leg. Okay. 
As you do. <laughs> no. At least he's not stabbing girls' faces with it, mate. <laughs> Knocking them well, out. That's the same principle, but that was, you know. Yeah, I suppose. I did it because it was itchy, though. Oh. Right. Do you ever, um, do you ever, do you ever <laughs> sit on, do you ever accidentally sit on it? Oh, yeah. Because it would. When I was younger, well, yeah, I'm so used to it now. I'm old, old enough now. You know, you know your body. As you get older, you know, you know your body more. Mm. Did you, did, when you were at school or college and that, did, uh, did people know? Yeah, like, again, there's Did you, school showers. It's like, you know, you can't really... Do you have showers at school? I yeah, well, again, I'm a different generation. So mm. this is when we, you had showers at school? Yeah. No one liked it. It was like... Well, everyone got their bollocks out. Well, that wasn't the requirement, but, you know. Oh, so you didn't have to get your bollocks out? We didn't have to. Get your that wasn't like step one. <laughs> <laughs> step one. You bollocks. Get everyone, everyone bollocks out. <laughs> Bollock inspection time. <laughs> no, it was... But you had... There were open showers, but again, people you didn't want to didn't want to do it because you know, you're boys. And mm. so you're always just like, you know hiding with like the towel or with the shorts or whatever. Mm-hmm. But again, it's still like, you can't really hide for too long. Did you, yeah. happen, so. Did you get a nickname? Uh, several. What well, was your nickname? I mean, not, Top three. Not, not particular. Uh, Pringles was one. Julius. Pringles. Yeah. What, Julius? Because he's the mascot for Pringles. Didn't you know, know that? No. What? No one knows no that. One knows. Everyone knows that. Everyone, what, everyone, the guy everyone with the moustache? Everyone, everyone, everyone over the age of 30 knows the name of... Uh, well, we're not that old, mate. Exactly. <laughs> I'm saying, when you get there, you'll know that. Uh, Aiden, did you know that? Uh, Harry, did you know that? No, they, they all said no. All under 30. That's true. That's true. So, um, let's, I think people would be interested to know actually about you mm. yeah. rather than just the knob. Yeah. I don't, but we can do that. Um, so <laughs> so you're, you're Matt, right? Yes. You grew up in? In Bolton, the north. Bolton. Oh, you don't sound Bolton. I know. I the Boltonese. Very well. Yeah. Fled the country. Oh. I don't, yeah. I, just, I just never, never liked the northern accent. Yeah. I watched a lot yeah. of the street when I was younger and tried to avoid doing that. Horrible, isn't it? You fled the country. Where'd you go to? I did eventually leave the country. I left Australia for a bit. How long? Oh. Uh, just a few months. That Why? Like it. Why? Why did you do that? I didn't like it. Well, I worked over there for a bit. I didn't, they got very much like a work hard, play hard culture. Mm. Yes. I don't like that. I, well, you just like to work hard. No, I don't like either part. I don't, I don't like oh. or playing hard. Just what like, do you like? Nothing. No, like the middle. Like work middle. A, little bit, a little bit. Play a little bit. Play a little bit. You know. Oh, I just like to play hard. You like to, and, and fuck hard. <laughs> no, I, don't know, I don't know why. It, just, yeah, it, yeah, it yeah. was there in my head and I just thought to say it. There's a certain voice in your head, Colin. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've got a sense of one of them. Yeah. But I've been to Australia as well. Yes. Um, and it, I went to, where'd you go? Sydney? Bondi. Yeah, I lived, lived off Bondi. Oh. Bondi? Yes. Bondi Beach. Yeah. Bondi Sands. I didn't think Bondi was that great. It's not. Yeah, I agree. I'm it's not that great. It's a, why not? It's just a big, be- it's a big, busy beach. Yeah, but that sounds good. It was all right, but everyone goes, oh, Bondi Beach. I'm like, yeah. It's, right. Yeah, it's overhyped. <laughs> but it's, it's a nice bit. It's a nice bit you do. And I, you know, I, I did, you know, did enjoy going out there. Yeah. I can't really do that over here. And I'm very like, in the UK, I'm very conservative. I don't dress up as much as possible to hide as much as I can. Mm. But then the, in, in Australia, it's like, oh, whatever. It's a different country. You just it's hot. It's sort of hot. Never out, but yeah. Well, yeah did you out. work over there? Yes. What did you do? Uh, just, I don't want to go into work. But oh, oh, is it like official work? You didn't. It wasn't like working in like a random shop or anything. No, no, it's official. Oh, oh official, official work. Yeah, yeah, I've okay. got official. I've got a day job and all that stuff. I've got a normal. Yeah, normal, yeah. I've got a normal job. Normal. Job. Okay. Um, I was going to ask oh, I also about the whole uh, OnlyFans thing. Mm. I was going to say, um, <clears throat> when I do you ever manifest? Because right, what I did was when when I was working my little sales job, I printed off a picture of Bondi Beach. Yeah, mm. and I I stuck it on my desk for a year, and I'd always look at it, and then. I, I got a flight to Australia eventually. I had enough money to go and I took this picture with me and I went to the exact same spot and held it up. And I forgot to get a picture there because I was going to get a picture of me on the spot, but I forgot. You know? <laughs> and then I, I, I held it up and I was like, um, yeah. I'm here. I'm, I'm in mm. Bondi. Work towards it. Yeah. yeah. Manifesting. Did you manifest? I, I don't think that. It's, I thought manifesting was bullshit, but that is. Uh, no, no. It's not. Well, that's just yeah. like, that's not just goal setting. Though. It's just saying, I want to do this thing and you do the thing. It's not like you got gifted a flight from a mysterious benefactor. You just thought, yeah, yeah. I want to do a thing and you worked hard. No, no, no. Because I was healthy enough and fortunate enough, the universe gave me prosperity. Well, I think there's two parts of it. I think, I think the, I think the visualization, by- <laughs> visualization is a good part where like, it's almost like when, you, if, cause I used to do the same. I used to have um, a visionary board where I'd put a car, a house and all that. Mm. And I'd look at it every day and it would just motivate me. You still don't um, have a house. What? You don't have a house. Oh. You've got a board still. I got a board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got yeah. a picture of it. Yeah. Well, no, I think it's, uh, it's good to have, obviously have like clear goals and go like, I want to do that. But you know, it's okay. it kind of reminds you what you're working towards. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it for Lisa. Yeah. Lisa. Mona Lisa. Lisa. The Simpsons. You know, because you forgot you're too young for The Simpsons. I know The Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you don't know every episode. Like, if you're a millennial, you know every Simpsons. It's a bit when the power plant where their uh, home is, you know, don't forget you're here forever. 
Right. He, he joins the power plant mm. and he's all miserable. And then he changes the board around to have pictures of- How the fuck am I meant to get that? <laughs> that anyone, no anyone one is ever getting that. Niche. He said Mona, by the way. He said <laughs> Mona, Mona Lisa. That's an episode, <laughs> Mona Lisa, yeah. Well, is it? Yeah, I don't know about the episode Mona Lisa, Lisa boy. Is that your favourite thing, is it? No, it was just, again, if you are my age, you will have seen every, because again, this is free internet, so everyone watched Simpsons, so the, mm. and the good Simpsons, not like the shit one that's on now. Yeah, so everyone mm. has a series one to eight Simpsons, talk to anyone my age, and they will just... What, what were you doing before internet was about? Yeah, what were you doing? The thing called, thing called books. Uh, do you like you, books? Do you like, do you like books? books? Give us a good book. What do you, what do you read? Uh, favorite, favorite book of all time, do you want? Yes. yes. Uh, Foucault's Pendulum by Umberto Eco. What's that about? It's about, you know, Foucault's Pendulum. And yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 we know him. We know that. No, I meant the play, the thing, the pendulum. Yeah, we know him. Pendulum. The pendulum. You know, you know, you know, oh, you know, mate, I don't you know. know. I've just blown the cover. <laughs> Fine, we know, know the pendulum. The, oh, the pendulum goes like this. That's Newton's Cradle. Well, I don't know. That's, that's, that's Newton's Cradle. Okay, what's the, this one? Yes. It's, it's a mystery novel about, uh, you know, the, the past and it's, it's exciting stories. Have you seen Name of the Rose, the film? By the same yeah. author? Yeah. We've seen that. Love Sean that. Connery. You, you know Sean Connery. Yeah, I know yeah, Sean James Connery. Bond. Yeah, James, James Bond, yeah. But he's yeah. not James Bond in this. He's a monk no. called William of Baskerville. Okay. The name of the Rose. Right. He's solving a mystery. Mm. So, and Better Echoes books are usually about, you know, lots of uh, philosophical yet mysterious content. Are you, are you into philosophy? Yes. What, what's your philosophy? <laughs> Do I have a philosophy? <laughs> <laughs> That's really what I mean. He's like, he into philosophy. Like, I, like, I like reading philosophy. I like, what's that philosophy? Are you into stoicism? I'm not into manifestation. <laughs> oh, I can't be in this, this chat, really. So no. Are you, I you was, like, again, it's like part of being pure talk, stoicism. Yeah. yeah. I love stoicism. Do you? I read everyday <laughs> stoicism. Really? Everyone yeah. knows this. I know, but I'm just telling them because he's into his philosophy. his philosophy. What do you read then? Daily Stoic. Daily Stoic? The Obstacle is the Way. Good one. Ryan Holiday. Great author. Who's your favourite Stoic? Marcus Aurelius. Is that your... Uh, okay. Seneca, I've read Marcus Aurelius. Name three Stoicisms. Marcus Aurelius, Stoic. Seneca... Um, Seneca is Stoic? Who? Is Seneca a Stoic? Yeah. Okay. He's a... Uh, yeah, Seneca's got a... Is Letters from a Stoic, isn't it? Okay, name one more. Uh, Zeno. <laughs> Zeno is not. Zeno. Did you do no. philosophy at university by any chance? No, I didn't go to university. Really? No. Mm. Well, I didn't into it. Did you? Good. Yeah. What did you study? History. Oh, it's so you're everything. into history. It's about everything, isn't it? Like, I, like, I like learning all the random stuff. You, just, you did things like uh, what uh, apocalypticism in the Middle Ages and how the world was going to end and all these like visions of the death. Okay. The world and stuff. How do you think the world's going to end? Uh, uh, not like that. I think oh. the end, uh, capitalism will crush us all. Yeah, I agree. Capitalism so will like crush governments. Us. Uh, well, no, I think small. I think businesses and will do that more than the governments themselves. I think in in the in the in the service of that. But yeah, can I but, share a theory with you? Go on. Yeah, I uh, I had this conversation with a friend who's in quite a good position where he learns about this st sort of stuff. The internet, uh, who is it? <laughs> yes, TikTok. <laughs> no, um, I can't say who it is, but okay. um, Seneca. He Seneca. He's <laughs> but he um, <laughs> he was saying that a lot of these big places, which are very important, mm. they. Uh, are very nervous at the moment because they believe AI will replace nearly all of our jobs and it might lead to this uh, what do they call it um, what is it revolution so, so uh, what is it is, is, we're capitalists it's socialist is it uh, well, that's, that's kind of the opposite yeah yeah the, yeah. so uh, where none of us work we get a base salary and, and AI just does everything that's great would you like that? I don't think that. I don't would think you? people would like that. I think it would lead to. I thought you were saying actual rights. Well, the issue surely is they get replaced. There's no basic income, or so there's very much a class system where it is people who, people who are fortunate enough to have family. Because the issue in, in London, particularly, is people who've got family wealth, so they've got property coming in. Mm. People who don't, who have to like pay insane rents every time to do stuff. So oh when, my god, yeah. People get pushed out of their homes or whatever, can have to go further and further afield. Mm. They can't get the jobs or whatever, and then that's when the revolution happens theoretically. Really? Revolution? We're going to... I mean, I've, theoretically, again, this is like, I don't know, like a long time. I don't know. The British, the British, <coughs> oh. are, very, the British are very passive there, aren't they? Yeah, that, yeah, I know. The French, this the sucks. French will write over like a, a 5 pre increase in a baguette, but they're... Yeah. They're, yeah. Oh. They're literally just, I, wait, saw, I was in one of those riots. Just like, wait, 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 wait. The tractor riots. The poo ones in France? Yeah. I was there <laughs> when it was happening and we saw the... Harry, were you there? Yeah, you were there. I was there. Were you? Oh, yeah, I, you were there. Was I? Yeah. When we went skiing, there was all those tractors on the motorway. There you go. We were part of the we were part of You were uh, rioters. <laughs> we were yeah. rioters. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Have you heard of that new thing Probably that's not. coming in? No. Do you drive? No. Cock's too big. 
Yeah, I always get the wrong pedal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're always pressing the brake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, basically, have you heard this? Well, I'll tell you then. Um, <laughs> so they are thinking about taking a, a new rule where you pay per mile. Okay. Of, of what? Yeah, you pay per mile. So you pay for fuel, road tax and shit, and you pay per mile. And if that's the thing, I've, I saw already the comments mm -hmm. and they were like, What do you think oh, about right. trains? Oh my God. That, mate, today I was having this conversation with Harry. I live in Brighton, right? Yeah. It's a it's about a 45, 50 minute train into London, right? The normal price for a super off-peak ticket, £27 pounds each. That's mental. What? That's good. Compared to Is like, it? Go up, well, compared to like going oh. up. Going up oh, oh, that's well good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a lot of like hundreds. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's what I'm Is thinking, it? mate. What, from Brighton to London? Brighton. Return. Yeah, yeah, that's what? pretty is good, it? mate. Is that Brighton good? 7 is not terrible. Yeah, there's a lot mate, more than that. From, that's bad. You should write it. From Essex, Maybe just Colchester to London, it's like 35 quid return. Is it? Yeah. But the only oh. way they're going to get funds to pay for better train service is mm. if they can re-nationalise them and then they can take money off drivers because people... You know, no, yeah, but it's not fucking doing anything. Like, why do we pay all this tax? For what? Tell me. <laughs> You've got the answers in that knob. Tell me. <laughs> no, but that's uh, oh, geez, it's, yeah. it's stupid. Like we pay all this fucking tax, yeah. and like, what do we get for it? Huh? Yeah, civil service that doesn't do jobs very well. I don't know what civil service is. Is uh, really what well, army? No. No. You know what civil servant is? You don't know what a civil servant is, you idiot. Well, go on then, what is huh? it? I think you do. No, 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 shut up. No, no, no. He, he does, he does. What, go on then. I know. What, well, go on then, what is it? Me, we know. Well, go on then, say it then. Civil no. servant? Yeah. Is like, um, like the police. No. Well, we, they're, they're the public service. They're, oh, they're, oh, yeah, public service. Civil service. I said army, so it must be army, right? Oh. Civil service is like people that uh, do... Service. You could argue that the police is a civil service. Well, well, well yeah, let's say what else are you saying then? People that, uh, let's say like... Um, like one of those places where you can play football for people that are struggling in the hood. <laughs> yeah, is that is. civil service? You somehow got an, every answer's gotten worse. <laughs> what is that then? What the well, fuck? The people, civil service. The people who help MPs and run the government, those, those elements. Yeah, those, the, those people. That is so not what you just said. Yeah. You said where kids can play football, football in the hood. No, no, they, they build, <laughs> they build they community <laughs> service halls. Isn't it? No, no, it's not apparently. Oh, I thought I that. Know, I thought that I so thought that. you're as stupid as me then. Even worse. Oh. That's worse than what I said. I said army. You no. said fucking playing football in the hood. I things. <laughs> right, no. Um, you're a Seneca, so I think he just win the battle between Yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. fine. Yeah. But I wasn't sure he was a Stoic. So you well, wow. can we look it up? You might, might be, you might be. You might Seneca be. letters from a Stoic. There's another one. I literally listened to a podcast yesterday. I can't remember well, the other cheating. I'm less impressed. Ma less no, I listen to uh, audio books because I, I don't have much time to read. Seneca letters. Were breaking from the rules. Well, you, no, you were on Xbox till three in the morning yesterday, you said. Yeah. You don't have time to read. No, I don't worry about it. <laughs> Got too late. Yeah, Seneca. That's He's in there. there we go. A stoic philosopher. There we go. You got it. See. I'm a genius. Mm. Let's talk about the museum thing. Yeah. So you said you're going in a museum. Well, not all. Not, yeah, we're doing a, so there's a, it's a Iceland's phallological museum which is a word they made up to say penises. Okay. Um, mm. So it's got all sorts of stuff. So it has a blue royal penis. It has lots of animal penises. It has... What, just cut off and hanging up? Yeah, like preserved taxonomy style. Uh, Jeez. And there's a model of me as well. So hopefully we're going to be... You're Your like whole... a wax model. Like what, of a, you know... A penis cat. model. Yeah, penis model. Okay, is it going to be completely down to the vein? Well, I don't, I don't, I don't know how we're going to do it yet. We're talking about... And you've yes. done this. You've we put haven't your... done it yet. We talk, we're talking to them about it. So it, you know, it's still possible it doesn't happen, but... Do they pay you for it? Yeah, they'll pay for the shipping, yes. Oh, you've got to ship the knob. Got to ship the knob. Ship the knob. He's <laughs> <laughs> got his own fucking ship. You've got to send me all the stuff to do it. Because it's, you know, you've got to do the process. Yeah. Uh, I would have thought they would do it. Mm. Well, I can't go to Iceland. Well, I must have gone to Iceland, but... Iceland's sick. Why Iceland? Well, are they really interested in knobs over there? It was a guy in Iceland, I think. He just, again, the, 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 as a culture, I think they were a bit more, you know... Knob. The, the, the Scandinavian friendly. Thing, more knob. <laughs> but I think you know, the Scandinavian culture, the saunas and all that stuff, obviously that's not Iceland, but they're mm. more open about these things as well. Whereas, you know, you couldn't have that in yeah. America, for example. <clears throat> Why? Um, what? Why? Because America... They're quite you know, close, Bible, It's a biblical culture, generally. You they banned cocks? They banned <laughs> cocks. No, well, you can't have a museum. Just biblical. They would be... Oh, biblical. <laughs> you said they banned cocks. Yeah, that's what I said. They banned cocks. <laughs> they just cut everyone's <laughs> knobs off. <laughs> Are you not... News, didn't you see that? It was a few weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you I not nervous? Kamala Harris was saying that if she gets elected, she's going to reattach to everyone's penis. Oh, well. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Are you not nervous about everyone just staring at your knob on a ball? Well, it's not It's not. It's a model of it. It's just, you know... It's... Yeah, but no one's putting his face to it. 
Will your yeah, face be on it? No, I'll just be getting a bit model of the thing. Just him smiling above his knob. <laughs> no, but surely it will have some information about it. Yeah, there's you. like a plaque. There's already a plaque out there, I think. What is it? Say. Just a plaque about me and sort of experience. Just you know, pictures, pictures and stuff like that. And then. Of you or your yeah, knob? Of me. Right, okay. But the, you, no, the model will just be. Knob. You must be well proud of that. I think it's quite fun to be a museum, isn't it? Like, yeah. Are they going to visit? I probably will. You get free entry. So. <laughs> That's what you get for it. On the, on the <laughs> free entry. Put your knob on the wall. You, <laughs> you free get free entry. entry. Well, there's a lot of people who've done it, apparently. So, oh. yeah. Are they going to attach your balls? Or are they gonna... <laughs> I don't think so. No, it's going to... How old does... I don't think any of them actually have, have, have um, balls. So you don't have the largest balls, though? I don't have the largest balls. Who has, who has the, the largest balls? I have ball? no idea. That's a question for... Fact. Well, <laughs> we'll get him on next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's next. Episode. This have is, you fight uh, each other in misfits? This episode was terrible. But, uh, the, yeah. the ball guy, he's got great stories. You should do a misfits... Against, you're not against, misfit, he won't know what misfit is. Misfits. Boxing. God. <laughs> you should fight the guy with the I'd argue that they're quite an easy target if he's got like balls. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think, I think I'd win just by default. Yeah, you So would. you've got normal size. I mean, they're bigger than normal, but they're not oh. like historically. How big are your knob? I mean, your balls? How big are your, <laughs> <laughs> how big are your balls? I don't know. Like, uh, I don't know how to describe Small apple? Small apple. For both, or, or both. Not, not both. Uh, two, not two small apples. Yeah, you've got two one. Small ones, not like. Two small apples small worth. Ones, small ones, small, Two small apples is your <laughs> testicles. Small, yeah. I know what you're saying, small, mate, but you're still <laughs> saying you're apples. Still an apple. <laughs> yeah, but they're not like, I mean, the people who've, and there's people who've got like, you know, watermelon size. Yeah, no. The, the normal average is probably one apple. One small Both. apple. One, ap- one small apple, apple for my ball. Normal apples. <laughs> What's, what about yours? Yeah, probably a small apple, yeah. <laughs> yours is a small <laughs> fucking raisin. <laughs> okay, does, fine. Does that affect um, sperm production? Oh, yeah. Give I mean, it, it does. I don't, I'm not an expert on those things. I'm not a, a, a doctor. Surely uh, you'd know, though. Have you asked? Have you tested your sperm? I've tested it once, yeah. Is it good? It's, it's fine. It's nothing special, I think, sperm-wise. Just... Would your kid have the knob? That's an eternal question. <laughs> Got to, aren't they? That's evolution. It really depends on, you know, who's, you know. They'd have a big knob for what they, they might not have as big as his dad, but they'd have a they'd have a knob. I mean, probably. I think that's not been the, the main calculation in starting a family. It's crazy how evolution works, isn't it? Yeah, that he's got the knob, but, but uh, the yeah. knob. He's got the knob. But if someone slept with an Argentine lake duck, they have a bigger knob. So. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. But but you're saying that we are evolved in a good way that it retracts in. Yeah, like again, it's not. This is not like a particularly you know a good thing because. There's yeah. a lot of women you can't sleep with because of the size. So, you, are kind of, you know, if you have a normal size, then you are going to be much more able to procreate. From a, you know, yeah, you'd really have to inject. Logical sense. Very Fair interesting. Enough. You should write a book about it. Well, what a segue. Because mm. I have written a book about it. No way. It's really coming out next year. Wow. Next year. Did Was you it? write it yourself? Yes. All, all oh. Me. I don't, uh, don't have the money for a ghostwriter. And I think I, you know, I can spin a good yarn. I've got yeah. a lot of uh, okay. experiences. Is it being published with Penguin? <laughs> don't get it <laughs> oh, <laughs> penguin is the publishers yeah but why penguin I don't know this is the only one I know <laughs> <laughs> kids books though I thought you were referring Did to they? an animal with penis stuff <laughs> like I just don't oh. like that because like, well, the penguin was on the list what are you talking about oh no, <laughs> no. I missed the reference deep, uh, deep low IQ lore <laughs> that the penguin means something but no it's just, <laughs> you know one publisher no it's not they but do, they do kids books do they they do mostly oh, like, oh fuck not only kids they do everything they do, they do. well that could have been the joke that you you didn't get it could have been oh, yeah, that they do kids be, jokes kids that, jokes that would have been, been funny it would be funny. <laughs> it would have been something. Fine. Um, so it would have been okay. Yeah, we were actually yeah, it was, Well, there's, there's a couple who are interested, but uh, and what's yes, it called? A long story. Oh, that's clever. It's clever because it's good wordplay. Yeah, long. You should say long girthy story. <laughs> is it just a <laughs> long, long story? Sorry? Do you do you put on the cover about the knob? Yes. Oh, so would you, you say so it was either going to be life with one of the world's largest penises or life with the world's largest penis? But again, because it's not it's world's largest, depending on how you sort of measure it. There's a lot of caveats and stuff mm. that we don't want legal to. Oh, how, how, much, how much are you going to sell it for? I don't know. And what do you talk about in it? Do you talk about full life stories? A lot about uh, you know my personal experiences, some funny ones, some saucy ones, some previous trysts with certain people you probably wouldn't know, but like sort of Z listers from back in the day as well. Um, mm. uh, just yeah, you know, a bit of social stuff. Some stuff, not about animal penises, but about <laughs> human penises involved and all that that culture thing and how it's changed over time. Where, where I grew up, where it's bigger was better was like the the ethos. Everyone was like, yeah, that's that's true. But then obviously, I think now there's more openness about sizes and dicks mm. in general. Mm. You can talk about that stuff and they go, oh, not really. Like, I think again, because women had more voice in media, 
So they go, actually, we don't want like this. <laughs> Big Willie. Yeah. 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 Whereas, whereas men's doing the talking, they thought he did. Um, are we going to be mentioned in the book, Low IQ? The, your, uh... um, yeah. <laughs> I'll put you in the uh, honourable uh, column of shame at the end. Yeah. <laughs> right. right. Well, that is the end of the Knobcast. Oh. oh. So, mm. yeah, well, best <laughs> joke we've heard all day. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that has been Matt with the biggest penis in the world. Yes. Do you have Fair anything enough. to share? Well... <laughs> no, uh, no, thank you for having me. Hopefully, the audience have had a good time. Partly at my expense, partly, you know, yeah. partly alongside us while we chat shit. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> Click like and uh, comment, and uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Nice. We'll see. I remember to check out his book when it's out. Yeah. Can I have a website plug as well? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Plug Sorry. whatever you want. Penisbook.com, because I've not got the release date yet. So stay tuned. Okay. That's we'll it. put a link in the bio as well. So check that out. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>